Hello friends, welcome to the Classic Education YouTube channel. I am Dr. R. V. Chitgupi, the Faculty of History at Classic KS and IS Study Circle, Dharwad. Well friends, today I am with uh, one of the important topic uh, here from the art and culture, the mural paintings at Hampi. So, very famous you have uh, Ajanta paintings, but uh, the mural paintings at Hampi are also important, particularly those students who are appearing for uh, the KPSC means examination. Here uh, you can have a question on this uh, mural paintings uh, at Hampi, which is less seen by the visitors. So, visitors do not give much attention to this, uh, but we have got the beautiful mural paintings uh, of uh, at Hampi there. So, today we are going to see these important mural paintings we have got and where they are located and which are the themes that are there in the paintings. So, well friends come let us see here the important mural paintings which are at Hampi. So, Vijayanagara who ruled in the South India from 1336 to 1646 comprising the rule of the four dynasties. Sangama, Salava, Tuluva and Arvidu. So, the rule of these four dynasties makes the history of Vijayanagara. And uh, the rulers of these dynasties were the great patrons of the various arts like uh, dancing, the singing, music and also the painting. So, one of the art developed was the mural paintings. So, the mural paintings means the paintings which have been done on the walls. So, we call them as the mural paintings. Friends, here we find the Hampi here mainly has the examples of this here the mural paintings and we are going to study here. The two best examples here are paintings at Lepakshi Virabhadra temple Andhra Pradesh. So, this is one important mural paintings we have got of Vijayanagara period. The second one at Virupaksha temple Hampi. At Virupaksha temple Hampi is the second example of the mural paintings belonging to Vijayanagara period. In this session, I am dealing with the mural paintings at Hampi, which can be noticed on the ceilings of Ranga Mantapa at Virupaksha temple Hampi. So, in the Virupaksha temple at Hampi, the Ranga Mantapa. Here we have this mainly the paintings. So, the paintings belong to the 16th century. The paintings are belonging to the 16th century. Before I go to the discussion on these paintings, I would like to just give some information about the paintings here that art developed in India. The painting art is one of the ancient art and we go back to the prehistoric Mesolithic period here the art of painting was noticed. And the best examples we have got the cave paintings of the Bimba Bettaka caves in Madhya Pradesh, which belong to the prehistoric Mesolithic period. Followed by that paintings can be noticed here in the Indus Valley civilization. Indus Valley civilization also we have got some fragmentary evidences of the paintings usually done on the potteries. Followed by that in ancient India, the most important paintings here are the Ajanta paintings, the frescoes of Ajanta. The frescoes of Ajanta are one of the important paintings of ancient India. And if you come to here the medieval period, medieval period we notice in North India, the Rajputs and the Mughals developed the art of painting. The mainly Rajputs and the Mughals developed the art of painting. Whereas, if you see in South India, we find it is Vijayanagara which was responsible for the here encouragement of this art of painting. And uh, the Vijayanagara art here speaks about uh, the two here uh, the mural painting examples which I just mentioned on. Uh, it is one at uh, Lepakshi we have got in Veerabhadra temple that is in Andhra Pradesh and another one is at Hampi here the Virupaksha temple at Hampi. So, the Ranga Mantapa has the paintings here. So, just this is a brief account 
about how the art of painting has developed in mainly India there. So, we will commence our study on the paintings which are there at Hampi Virupaksha Temple Rangamantapa. So, Hampi as you know that was the capital of Vijayanagara. It was the capital of Vijayanagara which is on the banks of river Tungabhadra. Hampi is located in the on the banks of river Tungabhadra and today we have it in the district of Ballari the state of Karnataka. So, Hampi here which is considered to be one of the richest capital of the medieval India. Many foreign travelers have given lot of here the appreciation here for the richness the economic prosperity that Hampi had like uh, what we have of uh, Nicola County or Abdul Razak or uh, the Portuguese uh, here mainly the travelers like uh, Domingo Payas and uh, Duret Barbosa Nunits. They have highly spoken about uh, this rich capital. It was uh, here uh, economically very prosperous uh, here capital and uh, we find this particularly Hampi remained as the capital from 1346 to 1565. 1346 to 1565 we have got here mainly this as the capital and it is here in the 16th century particularly under the Tuluva rule. So, under the Tuluva dynasty we have got the two famous rulers Krishnadeva Raya and the Achyuta Raya. So, under these rulers the art of painting developed a lot. They were great patrons of the art of painting there. So, what we have the evidences at Hampi today here belong to the 16th century. They are the 16th century paintings here belonging to the Tuluva dynasty of Vijayanagara there. So, here mainly considering this as our mainly the background here now we will move to the different paintings that are there. Most of the paintings are adopted from the epical narrations, the epical incidents, Ramayana and Mahabharata incidents have been here depicted in the form of painting as well as there are some here from the Shiva Puranas also. From the Shiva Purana also we have got certain paintings that have been here depicted there. So, we will try to understand these important paintings what we have got. So, the first and here mainly if you look at the ceiling it is divided into three portions the west portion, the middle portion and the east portion. The west, middle and the east portion here broadly we have got it in here three parts the ceiling and the paintings here are done on this mainly the ceilings there. The ceilings have these paintings. The first one is here of Girija Kalyana. It is the marriage of Shiva and Parvati. Very popular incident in the Shiva Purana we get and also this was highly influenced by the book of Hariyara who wrote the book here Girija Kalyana in Kannada language. This mainly is the Girija Kalyana that is the marriage between Shiva and Parvati. You can see here this mainly the Shiva and Parvati. The Shiva and Parvati can be seen at this particularly here the mainly the place. Shiva and Parvati here that is a Girija Kalyana incident and we have got this was attended here by here the gods like Brahma. You can see the four faces of Brahma. Then we have got Vishnu and Lakshmi. Vishnu and Lakshmi here are mainly there. Here Lakshmi is with the Veena in her hand. So, Lakshmi here and then we have got Narada. Narada with his mainly the Tambura. So, these have attended the marriage here of this mainly Shiva and Parvati and here we have got mainly the parents of here mainly Parvati there. Likewise and the female attendants we have got. These are what we have mainly this is the Girija Kalyana. Girija Kalyana is a most important here painting we have got there. This is here one of the thing which you have to know there mainly the Girija Kalyana was highly here inspired by here the book of 
ಹರಿಯರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಿ ರೋಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಎಂಟೈಟಲ್ಡ್ ಗಿರಿಜ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಲೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ದ ಗಿರಿಜ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಿ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಪಾಲಸ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಏಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಪಾಲಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋಟಿಸ್ಡ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಪಾಲಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಲೋ ದ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿರಿಜಾ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗಿರಿಜಾ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಪಾಲಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಪಾಲಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಚ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ದ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಚ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ಶಿವ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿವ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ತ್ರೀ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಪೂರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೈಥಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಪುರಾಣಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿವ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ತಾರ್ಕಾಸುರ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಬೂನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಆರೋ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಆರೋ ಸೊ ತಾರ್ಕಾಸುರ ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೂನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬೂಮ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾ ಥಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಹೆರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ದೇವಾಸ್ ದ ಋಷಿ ಮುನೀಸ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಖಯಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಎಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತಾರ್ಕಾಸುರ ದರ್ ಸೊ ಶಿವ ಹಿ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಾಂ ತಕ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪುರಾಣಸ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪೇ
and this is you can see a ram and on it here the painting is little bit uh, distorted here it is agni agni is mainly here vehicle is a ram so that is uh, where we can see here this is the painting what we have and uh, parvati is said to be waiting that uh, shiva will open the eyes and uh, come out and uh, he she will be marrying to shiva there that is uh, the incident that has been mentioned here you can see a female figure and it is uh, here mainly rati the mainly the here kamadeva's here counterpart there that is rati we can see in that mainly the chariot she is sitting there and kamadeva is shooting the arrow to here shiva and shiva has opened his eyes and after that you know that kamadeva is burnt here by the anger of shiva for disturbing the meditation we call this as a very famous incident kamadahana in the puranas that is the incident of uh, the painting what we have got a very interesting panel and a well preserved panel it is you can very clearly identify all the here the features as well as uh, the characters who are mainly painted here the kamadeva panel then we come to here uh, the very famous panel uh, that is uh, the shavatara panel the incarnation of uh, lord vishnu in the 10 forms the 10 forms what we have got so if you start it from the left here it is matsya kurma varaha narasimha vamana parashrama rama krishna buddha kalki the dashavatars the 10 incarnations of lord vishnu so who has taken different forms of incarnation here to protect here the good on the earth so that was uh, the object behind it that uh, the destruction of the evil and uh, the protection of the good so that was uh, here the object and he had uh, mainly taken these different forms and we have got in vishnu purana the stories narrated to the incarnations here so very clearly you can see these different forms of his incarnations that are there so which are 10 incarnation and uh, it is called as dashavatara panel the panel of dashavatara now this is sita swayamvara from uh, ramayana we have got this uh, mainly the panel you can see here rama is holding a here mainly a bow there and uh, that is what uh, was the condition here for uh, marrying the sita that uh, here that uh, bow has to be broken that was the condition that was laid by here king janaka the father of uh, mainly sita there and uh, rama is lifting the bow and he is uh, here uh, breaking that bow there that is sita swayamvara mainly situation that is the painting what we have got here in a mainly the ceilings of virupaksha temple there then after the breaking of that bow here the here ram sita kalyana that is the marriage rama and sita marriage taking place there so after rama breaks that bow here and later sita is given in marriage to here rama there that is uh, here uh, ram sita kalyana this is uh, the panel what we have got next to that what we had seen earlier in the same way we have got another very important panel from a mahabharata incident uh, draupadi swayamvara so where pandavas also had attended the kauravas had also attended and uh, draupadi swayamvara and what is the condition you know that here the mainly the fish by seeing here in the water the reflection of the fish here it should be hit to the eye there so whenever whoever hits it that draupadi will marry that and this is the situation what we see arjuna hitting the fish you can see this fish here this is the fish what we have got and arjuna looking it this is a the bowl you can see where the water is there and here mainly he sees the reflection of the fish which is rotating the fish is rotating and he sees the here the reflection and he is shooting the arrow there this is a uh, mainly the situation related to draupadi swayamvara that is uh, what we have got arjuna hitting the mainly the bull eye of the fish there matsya here yantra that is uh, what is called as uh, here mainly matsya matsya means uh, the fish so hitting the fish there that uh, winning the hand of uh, draupadi there and uh, the last panel in this we have got is uh, the vidyaranya procession vidyaranya procession very beautifully depicted vidyaranya who is been taken in the here uh, the palakam 
the he is taken he has been carried by in the palakam by the attendants and it is a procession vidyaranya is uh, very much associated with the establishment of vijayanagara so legend speak that vidyaranya has blessed the here the founders of uh, the vijayanagara the five brothers hariyara bukkaraya marappa muddappa and kampana he blessed the mainly these five brothers that uh, here they should establish a dynasty here they should establish a kingdom here and it is said that here by his divine power he caused the reign of the gold vidyaranya with his divine power he is said to have caused the reign of the gold and with that here hariyara and his other brothers together established the vijayanagara there. so that is a story related or the legend related to vidyaranya associated with the establishment of vijayanagara there and that is the painting what a lot of uh, mainly the honors and respect was there to vidyaranya and that is the panel what we have got the vidyaranya procession so these are here the important mural paintings where we have got in the virupaksha temple rangamantapa virupaksha temple rangamantapa these paintings are present but when visitors visit this virupaksha temple they are very in a hurry to move out here by just offering their honors or the regards to the mainly the god and they move out and they are very interested to see that inverted pin hole technology that the tower the main tower falling inverted at the back side of the temple we have got the visitors are more interested to see that but these are the most important paintings which is less visited by the here the visitors so here these paintings have been well preserved and you can identify these paintings here the incidents you can come to know that so the archaeology has taken lot of here uh, trouble in the conservation of these uh, mainly the paintings today they are the well preserved paintings of uh, the 16th century belonging to the vijayanagara period in uh, south india there so this is one of the important uh, topic from your uh, kpsc mains examination also do remember students uh, here you can uh, expect the mural paintings like ajanta paintings the lepakshi paintings the hampi mural paintings are also here famous and these are the mural paintings what we have got with this i am coming to the end of here this session and i would like to say to my friends that if you have not subscribed for the classic education youtube channel do subscribe it and i will be back with you once again with another history topic which is more interesting and also important from your competitive examination point of view thank you